Hey everybody, Motorport 59 here. Um, here in Kern County in the southern San Joaquin Valley, Bakersfield, I just drove over to Taft today, which is about uh, 40 miles southwest of here. Uh, we have a uh, geographical issue here with the Tehachapi Mountains surrounding us to the east and to the south, and they connect into the Timber Range which runs back up the valley the other way. So we are at the foot of a U-shaped valley with relatively tall mountains. These aren't just little hills. I think the Timblers are, the tallest ones over there are about 4,000 feet, so they're a little, sh a little shorter. But to the south and to the east, we're talking about peaks between seven and 9,000 feet, depending on where you are. And Right now we have a couple of fires. We have one right now up by Big Sur. I know there's another one somewhere and for some reason it escapes me. I'm not going to go look it up. It doesn't matter. But the uh, prevailing winds in the valley are from the north. They're southerly winds and everything is just pushed up against the mountains right now. The air is absolutely disgusting. And uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is um, there are a lot of places, I'm sure, in America that give bad raps for their for their air quality or, or, or other things that they really have this that particular place really has no control over. And Bakersfield has no control over its air quality. We don't have a giant population. Bakersfield's uh, I don't know what the 2020 census is going to tell us, but in the 2010 census, we were a little over 400,000 people. Uh, Kern County is just under a million people uh, and it's a it's a big county but uh, Bakersfield gets a bad rap for its air and if we didn't have to suffer the pollution that blows all the way down from the Delta the Sacramento San Francisco all the crap up there Modesto Fresno all their shit gets blown down to Bakersfield and piles up against the mountains and it's not just a summertime thing, the fires are a summertime thing, but we have some terrible air here in the wintertime. Uh, if you went outside right now, or if you went to a window right now, and you're in a nice air conditioned room, and you looked outside, you would think it was January or February here, and the fog was just starting to lift, and it was overcast. But that's all smoke and yuck. You walk outside, and it's 109 degrees. Uh, but we have air just like that sometimes. And uh, through the winter, when when a high pressure trough gets stuck over the top of us, I did a video a while back about why does Bakersfield get such a bad rap, and this is one of the reasons. And I get sick of it when people start bitching about our air quality like it's our fault. We have no heavy industry in Bakersfield, or very little anyway. We have a couple of refineries, but. Uh, only a few of those, a couple of those have been shut down for years. I said we don't have a huge population to create a lot of our, uh, uh, pollution from cars. Uh, we don't have these big traffic jams where people sit on the freeways for two hours every morning and every evening. And uh, I don't know. When I drove over to Taft today, it looked really bad, especially over about halfway. There's a little, if you go over the Elk Hills out there with the Elk Hills Naval Petroleum Reserve, that's what it used to be called before Bill Clinton uh, sold it out from under the government, opened it up to production, which is fine, but I don't know. I always thought it was kind of cool that we had something like that around here. But anyway, getting off track. Uh, right around the Elk Hills area, it was really bad. It was really, it was horrible. That was where it was the worst. Visibility was probably three quarters of a mile, maybe a mile. And uh, you could smell it in the air, taste it, yucky. But there's nothing we can do about it, you know? Especially a town like Taft, it has, it doesn't put out any pollution. Uh, it's real. it sucks. But uh, I don't know. Do you live in a place like that? Do you live in Bakersfield or Kern County and get tired of listening to people harp about how bad our air is and we ought to move somewhere else? I don't know. I know we don't have the worst air in the nation. I'd hate to live in Houston or some of these other places that are, because there are no mountains. That's just that's just the way things are in those cities. Uh, you know, Los Angeles, kind of, it's kind of in the same boat. The offshores come in, blow 
keep, and they keep all the smog and everything piled up against the uh, the mountains there. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just sniveling because I want to snivel. What do you think, though? Do you live in one of those places? Do you think Bakersfield could do something about its air? Do you think cities like that can do something about their air? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. And we will see you all later if we get to see each other through all this bad air.